Rises to Athena, mighty Poseidon, the Earth Shaker, Zelus Artemis, with her deadly aim set to pierce it in the heart of a hummingbird, pain dead pigs, all of them. I see you there. Come closer. This is your fault. You are the victim. All the mortals are made in the bone workshop of fools. Jagged reflections from a broken mirror. Behold your god! This one killed six innocent children to satisfy her rage. They squabble. Burn with jealousy, cheat, fight and murder. They're cruel, vindictive and selfish. And let the heel of Achilles, these weaknesses will be their undoing. I have no such flaws. The rest have fallen. Only one stands between me and the rehabilitation of Olympus. Only the foulest, most arrogant, narrow-minded coxer son of Kronos who trapped me beneath the earth. The one and only Zeus! How I've missed you, Prometheus, my favorite cousin. You chained me to this rock and fed my liver to an eagle out of love. Ah, uh -huh. you need my help. Typhon is free. You once fought beside his allies, the Titans. Convince him to stand down. It's not that simple. He is even blocking my ability to glimpse the future. I cannot see past him. Go on. Blast me. I can't! He took my lightning! He took everything! Even the other gods are missing! Look to the mortals. That's done! Those evil, imbecilic, tasteless parasites were all turned to stone! One of those evil parasites is about to save your royal ass. My ass is safely lodged in the Aegean stables, and mortals will never be anything but a mistake. Care to make a wager? If I'm right, my sin of stealing fire and ensuring their survival becomes a blessing. You find your punishment unjust? It's a little... extreme. Do we have a deal? If you win, I'll end your punishment and set you free. But if I win, you help me stop Typhon, whatever it takes. Very well. Let the tale of Phoenix be my redemption! Oh no, not one of your stories. How long is this going to... My tale begins at sea. A ship of soldiers, returning from a faraway battle. Their victory ambushed by an unexpected storm. The sea tossed and turned. Waves churned to a throng. The line between sky and sea all but vanished. The mountainous peaks of the waves descended into valleys nearly as deep as Tartarus. You're really painting a picture here. It's an art. Point is, the ship didn't stand a chance. At dawn, the sun rose on the few remaining survivors. The lowest ranked among them, a shield bearer who dreamt of battle, but had seen nary a Wait, skirmish. Wait, don't tell me. I know how you feel, kid. 
You do everything you can for them, and then they betray you. What's up with that? Who designed that entrance? A circus performer? A magician? I don't know. Aren't mortals wonderful? Step forward into the light. The mysteries I have to offer are as infinite as the grains of sand scattered across the floor. What is your question? Oh, wise oracle, how do I reverse the curse and turn everyone back from stone? Wow, that's a real, <laughs> that's a real question. I don't know. It's a mystery. Well, then, how do I get my stolen bracers back? Ah, another mystery. Yes, that's why I came to you. The Oracle. Oh, yes. Well, circling that, I'm just the priest. The Oracle here turned to stone. But the smoke here is something else. <laughs> do you think sand? is called sand because it's between the sea and the land? Uh, have you seen a little guy with golden hair? No? <sighs> I'm going to go. <laughs> What's so funny? You said the go twice. <laughs> But you still haven't left! My brother was turned to stone, and I can't save him. The one person I tried to help robbed me, and all you can do is laugh. Whoa! Those are all true. Are you an oracle? Oh, oh, on your way out, can you pick me up something? I'm starving! Father of your line is not father of your kin. A mountain crowned with flowing locks is how you win. The monster shambles, hungry for immortal flaws. The true hero owns them all, stolen from the beast's jaws. With the wind herald's aid, go on the attack. And sooner than later, change them all back. A pearl of seas, forge fires lit, a wise child convinced, a feather's weight of wit. Eldest of Thetis, father overthrown, hero on high, it's time for you to come home. Oh, now that was a prophecy. What was? Isn't it weird? How prophecy ends with I see, but in this case I don't? Stop! Thief! You can have these bracelets back. You're going to need them where you're going. Come with me. No! Look, I'm sorry about stealing from you. It's just something I do. It's kind of a problem. So? We good? Not even remotely. I needed an offering for the Oracle. I thought you were a nobody, and I didn't like your face. But that's all behind us now. We have to go. Didn't like my... <sighs> we don't have much time. He will be here soon. Who? I have just a ticket for you to make it to the mainland. Where are those wings? These? Now who's the thief? Don't look so smug. They won't fly yet anyway. You have to find the other piece. What do you mean, fly? Focus. After that, we need a jar stolen from Aeolus. 
It's in there? I'll go begin the preparations. Meet me at the top of the observatory with the jar. I... I don't understand. You're in grave danger. Help me help you. Okay, but about what you said earlier. And you're gone. Okay, well, gotta figure out how to get past that barrier. For Phoenix seemed daunting, but the light of endless stars helped show the way. Cargo goes to die.
As Phoenix traveled through the underworld, his thoughts turned toward his mother and father. Were they safe in Argos? Had they too been transformed? Phoenix Ford, couldn't help. Them. A huge monster appears! It's ginormous, but Phoenix just laughs. Papa, mother. No. So you want to dance, huh? <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, it's perfect. The adorable monster was ever so playful. Everything he had prayed for to take his mind off his worries. It was a gift from Olympus he would treasure forever. Deep within his vulnerable, yet ever-expanding heart. Ah, fine, have it your way. Just don't make me vomit. Phoenix faced the monster, ready. The monster attacked. said this was Aeolus's jar, I thought that it would be a jar with the God of Winds on it, not in it. This little thing can't contain the wind? That's impossible. Phoenix looked at the top of the observatory tower. The planetaria could be seen. Planetary Hubiwati? Uh, it depicts the orbit of planets and... You know what? Never mind. But wonder if his story would one day be told amongst the stars. Hermes always says the stars tell stories, but I don't get it. It's like I can't read. Somehow that doesn't surprise me.
like I'll need to solve this to get to the missing wing piece. You can't solve the stars. The stars solve you. At least that's what a seer named Miss Clear once told me. And I won't tell you what happened after that. But those stars were bright. She stole your money. She did, yes. But I turned her into a juniper berry. So overall, not a bad night. is crumbling. I wonder if there's a way to break through it.
Welcome to the Golden Isle, in remembrance of my greatest success and my greatest failure. May the gods accept my offering. May I see you again. Icarus, these are the great Daedalus' wings! He must have built everything here, too. All these temples. I can't imagine losing a son like that. What it does to you. The wing piece recovered, and Aeolus's jar back from Tartarus. Now, to find that stranger at the top of the observatory. <clears throat> what? I didn't kill Icarus. Daedalus's faulty wings did that. And where is Daedalus now? I see. Silence. I'm sure Phoenix will find out, eventually. I thought you said you were preparing something. Yeah, preparing for you to return. You got the wings? Yes. Hey, not really good as new, but what is? Something new? You have the jar, right? Get ready to open it. What is that? You deceitful thief! You thought you could escape me? You stole something from that thing? I told you, it's a problem. Tree delivery boy, you do not deserve the crown you were given. We'll take you down, Typhon, just like before. We? <laughs> there is no we, not anymore. Phoenix, no! Okay, we need to get to safety. Stat. What was that monster? Typhon. Not the Typhon. Oh, you have no idea. Gotta get to the Hall of the Gods, then we can talk. You ready to fly? These were Daedalus's wings. The Daedalus, the great inventor. So? So, they didn't work right, and killed his son. You'll be fine. Just don't fly too close to Helios. And also don't try to go to the bathroom during turbulence. You should make it to the mainland without crashing. Probably. You literally robbed me, and now you're saving me. Why? I didn't follow most of what the Oracle ran through. But if the prophecy is on the money, hero on high, you're the only one who can stop Typhon from remaking the world. We don't even know if it's about me. For someone trying to help everyone right and left, maybe you should accept help once in a while. What are you talking about? Fate's alive! How is the Winged Herald supposed to provide aid when you won't let me? With the Winged Herald's aid? Wait, Winged Herald? No way! You are... Hermes, I like telling half-truths, playing tricks, and taking long runs on the beach. Now, can we go, please? The other gods need our help. Other gods? You mean all the stories are real? Something's wrong with your face. It's doing that slack jod thing again. Fly to the Golden Isle. Meet me at the Hall of the Gods. I'll be waiting. And with that, Hermes disappeared. Phoenix gazed across the narrow band of sea at the peaks and valleys of the Golden Isle ahead. The long path to his true destiny 
lay stretched out before him. Wait, that was just a prologue? How does it take someone that long to begin a story? Odysseus made it home faster. He's about to jump. Be quiet and listen. Suddenly, the majestic form of a wild creature caught Phoenix's eye. If Phoenix wanted to tame the beautiful beast, the mortal would have to befriend it first. Why are you whispering? Because I don't want to scare it away. What are you on? Because can I have some? The sight of the Great Hall took Phoenix's breath away. Huh. The 
This is incredible. It's all right. Could use some updating. The color motif is a bit played out. So, we're safe here. Remember that thing I stole from Typhon? It was an itty-bitty piece of his eye to hide this place from his terrifying gaze. You're welcome. You said this is the Hall of the Gods. Well, where are the others? Let me start from the beginning. With his hand on Phoenix's shoulder, Hermes recounted the tale of Typhon, destroyer of gods. Ty Fighting and losing. And now you are our only remaining hope to restore these lands to their former glory and save the world from chaos. All we have, Phoenix, is you. No pressure. I kinda lost track of who's who. Is that one with the spiky hair you or Typhon? Forget it. The vanquished gods need to be reunited with their severed essences to regain their power. And then, together, you must defeat Typhon. Huh. Huh. This is honestly a lot. I wish my brother was here. Look, kid, I'm not perfect. I'm the guy who escorted Pandora to Earth for Zeus's sake. But maybe, just maybe, you're the right hero at the right time. Also, you're literally all we've got, seeing as how everyone else has been defeated. Good luck. I'll be right here, doing nothing. <clears throat> I mean, beginning preparations. Thanks. I think. Oh, there's that face again. Fine. 
Your best starting point is to reach the top of the other statues on the Golden Isle, so you can track the missing gods. Find them, and they should be able to help you locate their stolen essences. Although... they haven't been themselves, so I'm really not sure. Um... what's that mean? Guess you'll find out. Phoenix, think. What would my brother do? Legiron would probably take on Typhon single-handedly. Like when he bested the entire Spartan fleet! Who am I kidding? I'm in way over my head. There's that wonderful smell again. Ambrosia is life. You want increased protection? Distill it here and drink up. Then, enjoy the ride. One time, Athena downed that whole Kelex and destroyed the entire Greek fleet, right after she had sided with them in battle. It was epic. Sorry. Guess you just had to be there. Many of my relatives were. They died. And I told Athena not to do that. But did she listen? No. <sighs> Those are a few ideas for ways to stick it to Typhon. You mortals seem to need an incentive, so I'll pay you Electrum for accomplishing each. And since I'm the god of merchandise, you can spend it right here on, you guessed it, merchandise. Ooh, creative. Or you could always just pay me your own Electrum. I thought the incentive was for me. I'm the god of financial gain. Those prices? Wow! I'm also the god of thieves. We all have our vices. What's that underneath? It's a chore chart. Someone has to get Ares to clean up after himself. Ever tried to get blood out of a sea of blood? Now that is a feat. know if you're in the market for anything. Ooh, is this where the gods get their dental exams? No, it's where we rip off our skin to change our appearance. Huh, still better than visiting the dentist. What's this? Not sure. Hades had it delivered. Deposit an offering for the ferryman, and unexpected help could very well arrive. Be careful, though. Argo broke the last gift from the Underworld, and look what happened to him. Who's Argo? Exactly. Damn.